prior to Easter of last year, I was in the kicking the tires mode, where I wanted to be, where I wanted to set my family up, how things were gonna look in my future. My faith was, there was a belief, but there was nothing solid. I didn't commit to anything. I didn't have, uh, I didn't have drive to go forward in that aspect. So coming here on Easter was an enlightening moment, an opening of, of my eyes, to everybody's eyes, the kids, you know. And so that was, that was the start of the journey. I had many of times said, I want to go to church again. I want to be part of the body again because I had before. I had had a taste of what it was like to be in the body of Christ and have that fellowship. We'd lived together for five years prior to, almost six years prior to getting married. And there was some rocky times here and there, mostly the last six months or so, I would say. I was ready to be married. I've been ready to be married for a long time, even before Barry, I say. I was, I was ready to be married, but um, with Barry having a previous marriage, it was definitely a standoffish area to him because he had already tasted it and it went bad. The next step, accepting God in, into my life and into our relationship and, and following that path to be what we're supposed to be under God's, God's view is, it was once you came to the decision of, hey, that's the, the route I want to take, then everything became, why am I not there? Why have I waited? That's the next step. Either it is or it isn't. And it's, it's just like a aha moment, you know? So to have him take the initiative and him be ready um, and him move forward with it all, I really think that was a God thing because um, just all the fear that you had and different things there had to have been a point where God cleared that up for you and it wasn't me pushing anymore. I had kind of stepped back and was trying to let go of it and, um, and then he came through. It just was the right direction. And I think accepting, accepting God and, and you know, coming to church and, and learning things became very, very clear. That I have a group of people praying for me when I may not be praying for myself or my family, um, to be able to put those things out there and um, to have the body praying is, is really one of those things that's priceless. Meeting with the Life Group's been an additional comfort, uh, a second family of sorts where you know, you're, you're able to speak freely and share your mind and understand more about people. It's, it's a way to draw closer, you know, spiritually, emotionally, physically. I mean, everything becomes a, a giant second family of sorts, even closer than you could imagine. I mean, it's, it's a real eye-opener. The families that we've met and been close with, I would say that they um, are families just like us, a lot like us. Not everybody... Um, got married and then had kids, or uh, um, there's families like us that have kids from other marriages, and just good people, uh, people that you can feel comfortable with having your kids around. Um, it's just a comfortable place to be.